Here we go. We're shooting. Yeah, you'd think they'd shoot it again. Juan Carlos is sitting here behind us going, half a millimeter. They should shoot it again. Well, who can blame you? All right. Hey, this is going to be great. Let's watch this match. We've got, there's Yuki for Japan, and we've got a, a 10 to open the match for India, an 8 to open the match for Japan. And Japan is motivated. They really want this. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, Another not eight, so a couple hot. Of high arrows. Not, not a great start for Japan. A pair of 8s, whereas India's got a 10. Actually, it's an X and an 8, so it's a 2-point lead for India. Yeah, Japan may need to make an adjustment with no more rain coming down. The sun's yep. actually come out, and it's... Starting to get uncomfortably warm yeah. right here. Ooh, another eight and it's high. They yeah. are, you, you just called it exactly right. India just took the first set. You call it exactly right, Steve. Here's what's happened. Japan was sighted in and shooting their last match in flat light and rain. Because they, they worked through their match quickly. Yeah, but as, as India. the lighting conditions and the rain changes, your point of impact is. Yeah. And, and with a recurve, we don't have a peep sight. We don't have a rear sight. So when the sun comes out, that string gets bigger, right? It doesn't actually get bigger. It just looks bigger. The, the so it makes you shoot to one side or the other, depending on your handedness. All right, so Japan right now is not making its adjustments fast enough, and they've got three, four eights right now and a nine. India's killing them. Yeah, and if this was a raw score event, uh, this match They'd would be, be done. over. This would be done. This is so a six-point difference yeah, right now. Yeah, the spectators would be turning around and going home. Yeah, this is why the set system is so good for this kind of thing, because right now, this would be done. Yep. So we're going to get a chance to see Japan, if they can make the necessary adjustments, come back. and. Yeah, and, Japan, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, they got a good group up there, but it's in the freaking eight ring and seven ring, and that's not good enough against India. They're going to get killed if they don't pull it together quickly. And India's got a pretty solid group right in the middle of the gold, so they, they shouldn't have to do too much except more of the same. They have just got to figure this one out quick, and they're usually better than this. This is surprising. Yeah, honest. yeah, this is uh, uncharacteristic, but... Good teams make the adjustments and can make a comeback. Absolutely. So here we go. We'll get the uh, the official score is 2-0 in favor of India. So it'll be Japan shooting first when we resume after official scoring. We've got a fresh target face up there, by the way. But, you know, um, Juan Carlos was saying half a millimeter difference. You know, here's the problem. You know what the tolerance is on a 122 centimeter target face printed on paper? Uh, one millimeter, I believe. It's actually something on the order of three. Ah. And, and the other thing is... Rain. Yeah, it's been rained on, and it's dried out some. So you know what it does? It shrinks. shrinks. Yes. At the Atlanta Olympic Games, back way back, I think you were probably in diapers in uh, I was 1996. working my way through third grade. Okay, we're, well then, like I said, no, just kidding, <laughs> totally kidding. All right. Uh, but you were probably still taking an afternoon nap. Most likely, yeah. 96 Olympics. We had uh, paper target faces up there. And it was a lot like this, except about 25 degrees warmer. Mm. In other words, sure lots of rain. Extremely humid. Yeah. So it would rain, and then the sun would come out. And it would be on the order of uh, 38 to 40 degrees centigrade. We measured physically a 5 centimeter shrinkage in the horizontal plane and a 3 centimeter shrinkage in the vertical plane. The target went pear-shaped. So, so important to keep a fresh face up, not just for scoring ring purposes, but for dimensions. So the question is to why the judge didn't ask for a reshoot with a half millimeter difference will be left to historians to ponder. I suppose that's uh, all we can do is ponder. Okay. So we've got Japan and India on our marquee match. We've got India with a two set point advantage. Japan, let's see, looking at body language. Yeah, they look pretty normal. <laughs> yeah, being down in the set system is a, isn't anything to panic about. They're a tiny bit subdued, to be brutally honest. Yeah, if it's 2 0. You're, you're one in away from starting over at zero. Yeah, there's usually a little more, how shall I put it, celebration going on there, and we're not seeing it right now. Not much to celebrate with that first end, but hopefully they'll come back for the second end. And it looks like over on the other side, we have Russia with a 2-0 lead over Korea on the women's team. Excellent. Well, that should be very interesting. We're back on right now, and it is Kaori Kawanaka getting ready to shoot for Japan on target number one.
And oh, another eight for Japan, a nine for India. Kaori is shooting her shots exactly where she was in the last end. Yeah, she, I don't know if she made adjustments or not. Well, but you know, there's real adjustments and then there's psycho adjustments. Psycho adjustments are click, click, and it doesn't really move the arrow. Real adjustments move the arrow. And that's another eight for Japan and a nine for oh. India, two point lead for India. Ten. So Japan using their uh, long time technique that starts mostly in high school where they talk each other through the shot. It's really interesting to watch a team match in a universiad event in Japan because there's, they're all talking at the same time and it's sort of, it, it's just incredible to listen to. Yeah, it shouldn't be mistaken for uh, unsportsmanlike banter in the oh, background. Oh, no, 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 none of that's going on. Moment. It's uh, simply part of their strategy. Yeah for yeah. their team. Yeah, and I can tell you for sure that's not the case for this team. Uh, and India with an eight right there. So yeah, it's they've got bring three it, nines uh, and an eight. There's a 10, 10, 10, 10 for Japan with a pair of eights. So there, even if India shoots a 10 here, Japan is gonna hold a one point lead. India with a nine on that one. So Japan with an opportunity here, they need a 10. And that's a nine, that might be good enough. That should close the set unless yeah. there's any close calls on the target face, which I do not see. They're five down. Yes, they are in it by one minimum. So Japan has tied India two to two. All right, so uh, we are showing unofficially on the board 55 points for Japan, 54 points for India. Solid shooting for both teams, but... Uh, Japan responding well, you know. Yeah, to start with two eights uh, can rattle you a little bit, but with their third shooter shooting a solid ten, uh -huh. uh, the other two were able to find ten or close to it and take the set points. Our next match is going to be the United States of America versus Korea after this match between Japan and India. I'm George Tekmachev here on Archery TV with Steve the Big Cat, the Okineko, the Grande. How do you say cat in Spanish there, Steve? Gato, right? Grande Gato. Gato Grande. Gato yes, Grande. Gato Grande. Yeah. Sorry, I am back. Remind me to push that button right there next time you take your headphones off. Okay. All right, thanks. Thanks for the water, by the way. You're welcome. This, Just how uh, you like it, no lemon. This portion of the match brought to you by the uh, Danish water bottle. Excellent water in the hotel rooms here. I noticed that. Yes. No surprise. Saving all kinds of money on the mini bar by being able to drink the water out of the faucet. Yeah, I know Evian France is highly regarded, but darn, I could come here with a couple of milk jugs and go home happy. Water. I might make a snide comment about how water is about all you can afford to drink in Scandinavia, but I won't do that. It's a, it is an expensive place by American standards anyway. Yeah, very expensive. Uh, the exchange rate about 6.8 Eight. yeah. to the dollar. So um, do your math and be smart with your purchases, I guess. Or minimize them. Okay, we've got um, a 2-2 two -two draw. Yeah, for uh, both the Japan and India match as well as the Korea and Russia match that is uh, taking place in the target further down the field. So here's who's coming up next for the recurve men. USA versus Korea should be a really interesting match. Yes, indeed. It's sort of a grudge match from the London 2012 games. You might look at it that way anyway. Yeah, and the head-to-head -head matches between Brady Ellison and Ojin Hyuk have been pretty stellar the last few years as uh -huh. well. Uh-huh, yep. And I'm not quite sure who's ahead on that one. I haven't been keeping track I too, tallied. too closely. But I can tell you that uh, they're not 
enemies. They are definitely not enemies. They're just rivals. Yep. Okay, Japan with another eight. That's uh, Kaori there. Oh boy, that's uh, yeah. that's in the black there for India. That's a four. Oh. Not so what they wanted. India with a really, uh, they're giving them a five on the board here. So really uh, tough to come back from that. Nah, that's not going to be a five. Ten. Nah, X ring. X ring for Japan. India nine. Yeah, I uh, I don't think India is actually going to get a five out of that first arrow. I really don't. Not sure it's going to matter, but we yeah, still have arrows to shoot. I know. And a, uh, a there's a nine, here. nine points for India. Japan, oh, with a six. Yeah, and she actually let that arrow down before she shot it. She came off the shot, drew her bow again, and uh, shot a six. I think they're feeling the pressure, both teams. India with a nine. nine. Japan with a nine. So Japan is seven down. And India is eight down if we are generous and give them that five. Could be as much as, uh, could be as, much as nine down there. And Japan with a ten. Uh, call that a nine, rather. Yeah, it's a critical arrow. Uh, the the uh, archer who had shot the six is now up on the line, and to have a ten in front of her uh, probably helps calm her nerves and calm her down. That's Saori Nagamini. She's the uh, newcomer to the team. And she is coming through in the clutch. That's an X. Yep. And there's an eight for India. So Japan now leading 4-2, Steve, in spite of a... A slow start. By the way, uh, Kaori Nagamini uses ACE rods, which I'll leave to the listener to figure out the irony because Steve had a comment about that yesterday. You know, ACE rods, I think, were around when I was in diapers. Yes, exactly. I think your comment was, hmm, anybody out here at the World Championships using ACE rods, they ought to at least get an upgrade to an AC Pro. I heard you say that. Yeah. I could probably make that happen. <laughs> you know, uh, we started out in the uh, pot broadcast. How do you, what do you call this when you're on YouTube? The tube cast? Webcast. Webcast. Thank you. That's the word. See, that's, that's why I work with a younger person. And I didn't invent it just now either. Well, no, Al Gore invented that, didn't he? <laughs> could be. It's 70 meters to the target. It takes about 1.7 seconds for that arrow to hit the target. And when the wind is blowing, Steve, that is a long time. Yeah, and it takes something like one-tenth of a degree of change in elevation of the archer's aim to move them out of the ten ring. So it's a pretty small margin of error. So Korea takes a 4-2 advantage on the target next to us after starting off with an 0-2 deficit. I just saw Steve take a selfie, and um, you know how most people need a selfie stick? Steve is six foot seven. He does not need a selfie stick. He just held it out there, and it looked like a third person held the darn thing. With a wingspan to match. Yes, indeed. Now, if you look in Jane's aviation book, you find the Spruce Goose has a widest wing, wingspan of modern aircraft followed by a Tupolev followed by Steve Anderson. <laughs> uh, well, I played college basketball, George, so I was pretty average by their standards. And now, now you shoot a compound and release. How did you go down that path? Good question. Good question. It's a long story I probably shouldn't dive into here, but it seems to be that it was meant to be. All right. Well, I'd say the energy level's back up. I see that uh, Kaori is her usual smiling self, so is Yuki. Saori is always a little more um, restrained, I think, as I'd put it. But uh, they're always smiling. It's kind of cool. Smiling, giggling. Uh, after that last 10, you heard a, a squeal of outburst from yeah. them. So, yeah, they uh, seem they're to be back in their groove. And, and they're just, they get along well. You know, that's what's really nice. They, they get along really well, and they support each other as a team. So yeah, that's, very uh, important for a women's team. Tremendous. Or men's, obviously. Big advantage. Yeah. 
I've personally been a part of teams that had uh, women's teams that were not so in tune with one another and did not compete as well in the team rounds because of it. Yeah, you know, sort of uh, self-defeating uh, to have an attitude like that. Yeah. I saw Topeka Kumari. She must have had a broken knock. She pulled an arrow, went to load it, and then uh, threw it back behind the line. So There you she go. She obviously, well, thank goodness she picked it up as a problem before she tried to shoot it. That's 10-9 liner for Japan, probably a 10, and India responds with a very similar shot, 10-9 liner. And Don't Spotter know says it's a nine it. for India. Yeah, I'm seeing nine on the screen. Yeah, here. but I'm seeing that that Japanese arrow could also be potentially called a nine. <laughs> now there's a nine for Japan. There's a nine for India. So unofficially, it's a one point lead for the team of Japan potentially here. Um, here comes Japan, another nine. India with a 10. So now we've got ourselves an unofficial tie. India has got to win this set outright or they will lose. First team to meet, reach five set points is the winner. And Japan is working to try to do just that. They've got another nine. India with a 10 though. So India, again, India has got to win this set. All Japan has to do is cruise to a tie. And that's an eight for Japan, giving them 45 points and a three-point cushion right now for the team of India. And India, they are, uh, with a nine, they're uh, in a good spot right here. Here comes Japan. And if you notice, George, uh, there's not an arrow India on with the another right eight. side of the X. All arrows are to the left side of the oh, X. Oh, this is going to come targets. down to a shoot-off. If India keeps it in the gold, and there it is, we're going to have ourselves a shoot-off. If I'm, if I'm one of these teams, you look at the target right now, you need to favor the right side of the tent ring. We've got a shoot off right now, and it's going to be Japan versus India. Each team member will shoot one arrow. And as soon as the scores are ratified and the field is cleared, we will proceed with a shoot off. Each team member with a single arrow. Cool stuff, but not necessarily where you want to be if you're Japan right now, because they haven't started out that strong. No, they've and a uh, shoot-off arrow is just like you're starting out. Yeah, you need you need uh, great arrows, and you get one chance at it. So uh, Japan with the uh, slow start in the first set, and picked it up there for the second and third, but let India back in. You open the door, and they stepped right through it, and now we're in a shoot-off situation, which uh, is exciting for us. So we're looking at uh, Japan versus India, but don't forget that we've had another match going on right now, which is the match between Russian Federation and Korea, and they also have a shoot-off, Steve. Some drama here to decide yeah. who will be in the gold medal final. Be the USA versus Korea for the next semifinal that we're going to feature here. It'll be the men's semifinal match between the United States and Korea as Japan and India get ready for their tiebreaker. Japan is in smile mode. I don't know what else to call it. But when they're shooting well and when they're feeling confident, they have that look that you see right now as they walk past our position. India's a little more restrained, shall we say. Yeah, and they tend to... Uh, I, I've never seen their Reeker women's team take a, a real energetic approach. They tend to kind of approach the line. Yeah, it's workmanlike, right? Yeah, it's, it's you can see Dipika taking a, a deep breath there. Yeah. They're... Uh, they try to keep everything more more subdued. Yeah, quite quite different personality-wise. As we get back underway, it's going to be 
Kaori Kawanaka headed to the line for Japan, the Olympic bronze medal holder with the team bronze medal from the efforts of herself as well as her teammates from the London Games. Here is the first shot of this shoot-off. Ten points for Japan, ten points for India, and boy, I'll tell you what, that's going to be hard to beat, that shot from India. Yeah, that's it's a, a solid X. Right there. So if the scores are tied, it'll be tough for Japan. Let's see what happens in the next two shots. That's a nine for Japan, and another ten for India. Final arrows. Saori was shooting, this is the same shooting order that they used when they beat Korea in Turkey. And Saori just shot an eight. eight up the top. Here comes Turkey, or excuse me, here comes India. And 10-10-10. Is there, is there anything else to say? That is it. And there's the energy. Yeah, they, uh, now they they're showing it. Now they're happy. And what do we have over on the... Uh, Korea and Russia. Here we go over to Korea and Russia with the scope. And oh my, 10, 10, 8, 9, 8, 7 liner, 9, 9, 9. I hate to, uh, I hate to say it, but I, I think we could be looking at Russia. Is it Russia? Congratulations to Team Japan. 